hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel trouble free in today's video i'll be explaining you about design and analysis of algorithm so this is the first video in the subject design and analysis of algorithm in this uh, video we will learn what, what is, is an algorithm and what do you mean by performance analysis in an algorithm okay this is going to be a very 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 short video guys uh, just an intro video and also let me know in the comment section whether you want me to continue this playlist or not so based on your inputs i will either continue or stop the playlist okay so first let us understand what an algorithm is set of instructions that are carried out in order to solve a specific problem is called algorithm some set of instructions for example uh, you want to prepare maggi what do you do first you will go to shop purchase a maggi packet come home then you will um, turn on the stove place a pan pour some water place the maggi inside it and after 2 to 3 minutes you will be adding the masala and then after 2 to 3 minutes the maggi will be prepared not exactly 2 to 3 minutes it will take 10 minutes maggi will be prepared in 2 minutes is a very big lie of course that we know so uh, that is the process of preparing the maggi once uh, it is prepared we take it into the plate and we eat so this is the algorithm right algorithm in a sense step by step process you are doing in order to eat maggi so in the same way in the computer programming also if you want to write a program you have to first write some step by step uh, instructions suppose if you want to add two numbers what you will do first in order to add two numbers you need two variables so for that variables you will be assigning the values so first you will take two numbers then you will be adding those two numbers then you will be printing the result right suppose if you want to check whether a number is divisible by 2 or not then what you will do first you will take the number you will divide the number with 2 if the remainder is 0 you will say that it is divisible by 2 if the remainder is 1 then you will print that it is not divisible by 2 so like that for each and every algorithm we have some step by step processes to do right so those step by step set of instructions that are carried out in order to solve a specific problem is called as a algorithm algorithm is different pseudo code is different flow chart is different program is different okay so this subject is complete about algorithms what are the different types of algorithms we have and what are the applications of those algorithms so this subject is all about algorithms only got it next performance analysis so what do you mean by performance analysis it is done in order to understand how efficiently an algorithm is working when compared to another algorithm which solves the same problem so for example you have two algorithms okay okay before that let us take a general example suppose you want to purchase a bike or a car so two bikes are there they are having all the features same everything same uh, the appearance is uh, same the everything everything is same but the only difference is mileage so if one bike is giving you 30 kilometers per liter okay mileage if one bike is giving you 30 kilometers per liter and the other bike is giving you 35 kilometers per liter then which bike you, you will choose obviously the one which gives 35 kilometers per li liter right why because it is give it is having more efficiency got it since it is having more efficiency you will be obviously going for the one which is giving 35 km per liter right so in the same way two bikes both the bikes you will be using for traveling only both the bikes are having the same uh, space uh, same color same feature same handle everything everything seems to be same but since the second bike is having more mileage you are going for it right so in the same way when you are having two algorithms which are have which are solving the same problem so for addition only you are having two algorithms first algorithm you will get the same result second algorithm also will give you the same result then among these two algorithms which one you have to choose will depend on the efficiency of the algorithm how efficiently an algorithm is working when compared to the another algorithm which solves the same problem got it and how do you measure that efficiency you can measure that efficiency in terms of two ways okay first is time complexity second one is the space complexity so time complexity space complexity is nothing time complexity means 
amount of time an algorithm requires for its execution in order to suppose you have an algorithm uh, which is to add two numbers so you have two numbers like 1 and 6 when you add 1 plus 6 what do you get 7 okay so once you add those two numbers and get 7 then the execution of algorithm is completed so in order to complete its execution how much time it is taking is called as time complexity and in order to complete its execution how much amount of space that algorithm is consuming is called as the space complexity okay so here you have two variables two numbers right one and six two numbers you have whether constants or variables whatever it is two and the result seven is the third variable so for these three variables how much space you need is called as the space complexity okay so in time complexity also we have again some subtypes and space complexity also how to calculate this space complexity all these things we will be discussing in the next coming video okay so that's all for this video guys i hope it is useful for you if you're still having any doubts let me know in the comment section thanks for watching the video till the end